Subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates. Allowing a smartphone to get wet is typically a bad idea. We all know that. But did you know that it takes more than 3,000 gallons of water to produce one? Hi, I am Manshri Banerjee, editor of Equity Masters Blue Chip Recommendation Service, Stock Select. Welcome to Safe Stocks, where we discuss ideas to create and preserve wealth in the safest businesses. If you haven't subscribed to the Equity Master YouTube channel yet, please do so and click on the bell icon to get notifications for my latest videos. So, why is water important for smartphones? Water is needed for mining the metal, making the glue and plastic for assembly and packaging. This amount is 20 times the average per capita daily water consumption in India. Are you wondering why I am referring to water when I am supposed to be talking on emphasis and technology stocks? The one word answer is semiconductors. Semiconductors are tiny circuits known as chips that power all electronic devices and tech-enabled instruments. They are components needed for manufacturing cars, televisions, refrigerators, washing machines, personal computers, laptops, mobiles, etc. These components are made from silicon and fit into micro circuits that power various electronic goods and components. These little chips are so important that tens of thousands of workers must get lines that are a millionth of a meter, that is one micron wide, exactly right or else it won't work. The semiconductor chips fail. Making a semiconductor is a 1500 step process and takes up to 6 months. The amount of R&D involved is massive. No wonder semiconductors play a very important role in a variety of fields. So then why is semiconductor manufacturing so critical? When it comes to semiconductor manufacturing, countries across the globe were excessively dependent on China. But the situation is slowly changing. Many countries are looking for an alternative. Countries are implementing the China plus one strategy. Last month, the Chips and Science Act was implemented in the US. The act provides incentives to companies for setting up semiconductor and advanced technology factories in the US. Owing to the tensions between China and Taiwan, Taiwan, which is the world's largest electronic manufacturer, is now worried about its dependence on China for manufacturing semiconductors. The matter is so serious that the national security of Taiwan had to interrupt a deal between Foxconn and China's Tsinghua Unicorn Group. Taiwan wants to persuade Foxconn to divest its stake worth $800 million from the Chinese chip maker. In December 2021, the Indian government also announced incentives worth 760 billion rupees for semiconductor companies in the product-linked incentives or the PLI scheme. The government had received 23 applications concerning the scheme. Conglomerates like the Tata Group and the Vedanta Group expressed their interest in setting up chip factories in India. Apart from Indian companies, international firms have also shown interest in setting up chip manufacturing plants in India and making India a semiconductor hub. A notable partnership in this space was of the Vedanta and Foxconn groups. In Feb 2022, Taiwanese electronics seller Foxconn and Indian oil to metal conglomerate Vedanta joined their hands for a semiconductor foray. Vedanta and Foxconn formed the JV to manufacture semiconductors. The companies have now announced a 1.4 lakh crore JV between the two entities for a semiconductor facility in Gujarat. Vedanta Resources, the largest mining company in India, will set up the display and chipset manufacturing plant, while Foxconn will serve as the technical partner. So, semiconductors are now a key focal point in the US-China geopolitical competition too. If data is the new oil and artificial intelligence is the new electricity, then it makes sense to view semiconductors as the must-have resource. No wonder semiconductor manufacturers are hot stocks. Apart from Vedanta, there are already quite a few listed Indian companies in the semiconductor sector. Mind you, the companies I am talking about are not recommendations. These are merely few semiconductor-related companies that could be considered for a watch list. 
So we have companies like Tata LXC and Dixon Technologies, which are larger entities, and also smaller companies like ASM Technologies, SPEL Semiconductor, MOS Chip Technologies, and Ratan Shah International. The recent supply chain disruptions have made semiconductors self-sufficiency a national priority. First, it was the COVID lockdowns, then the Russia-Ukraine war. The semiconductor shortages affected many industries across the globe. In India, auto firms were very badly affected by the supply constraints of semiconductors. So we must ensure this never happens again. India must become a major semiconductor manufacturing hub by the end of this decade. But investors are missing out on something very important. The water resources required to manufacture semiconductors are soon going to face a huge scarcity. Device manufacturers often joke that semiconductors are particularly thirsty. You'll be shocked to know each 30 cm integrated circuit board that holds the chips in your phone require at least 2000 gallons of water. Each chip needs to be rinsed with ultra pure water. This is to remove the debris which is the ion, particles, silica etc. from the manufacturing process. Only then can the chips be called uncontaminated. It takes 1400 to 1600 gallons of tap water to make 1000 gallons of ultra pure water. China accounts for only 7.6% of global semiconductor sales. It has planned massive investments in the sector over the next decade. As semiconductor production requires considerable water resources, which China lacks, it is frantically looking for alternative water resources. Controlling advanced chip manufacturing in the 21st century with water resources may prove to be like controlling oil supplies in the 20th. The country that controls this manufacturing can throttle the military and economic powers of others. The US-China war on chips combined with the pandemic led to a worldwide shortage of chips which has choked the manufacturing of electronics and cars of the world over. India's plans to be a global supply chain hub depends on chip availability. This is even more so for the EV ecosystem in the country. Also, the Taiwanese chip foundries risk losing business amid the US-China standoff. So it turns out the chip crisis has brought an unforeseen opportunity for India. The ambitions of Indian manufacturers are no longer limited to designing and outsourcing chip making to Taiwan. They desire to take a big leap. This is the right thing to do if India is to position itself firmly in the global supply chain. India could possibly get access to the chip manufacturing technology from Taiwan or chip producers here can use the indigenous technology. But the big question mark remains availability of water. The government's Jal Jeevan mission has allotted projects to few companies to prepare India for such long-term water scarcity. Quite a few such stocks critical to India's water mission are completely out of the radar of semiconductor and technology investors. If you ask me, the semiconductor stocks and the stocks like the water conservation and recycling companies which will feed into the semiconductor ecosystem are absolutely critical and have the potential to produce the next Infosys-like multibaggers over the next few decades. But an important caveat here. Before you decide to invest in any of these stocks to capitalize on the semiconductor mega trend, keep few things in mind. The business must inherently have solid long-term strategy. You should be patient to see the strategy play out over several years, possibly decades. The company's cash flows should not be dependent on excessive leverage. And most importantly, the management must have the track record of creating wealth for minority shareholders. You need tools to create such a semiconductor watchlist for yourself. Check out the free Equity Master Screener. Here, apart from getting access to ready-made watchlists following various themes and megatrends, you could also create your own customized watchlist and track some of the highest potential stocks set to be the emphasis of the next decade. Hope you like this video. Stay tuned for more such videos on the safest and most appealing permanent wealth creating businesses. Thanks for watching.